Now this is uh, a particular transformation that a lot of people go wrong with. The question says, describe the transformation that maps T1 to T2. And a lot of people tend to think that it's a rotation uh, of 90 degrees. And they think this because the line here, which is pointing upwards, is now pointing across. And there is a 90 degree angle between those lines if they were extended. However, a little trick I often use if I'm checking to see whether something is rotated is I'll take um, my triangle, I'll draw it out, and then I'll turn my page, put a little arrow there, 90 degrees. If we look at this triangle now, it does not look the same as the one above. Instead of going up, it's coming down. So if, if it's not a rotation, it's not a translation because it's been moved, it's not an enlargement because it's turned, so it can only really be a reflection. And these reflections that look like rotations are reflections through either the x equals y line or the x equals minus y line. We'll do the more straightforward one of the two, which is our y equals x line. Now, if it is symmetrical, then when we connect, the line that connects will be the same distance from the symmetry line, and it will be at right angles. So certainly our first point is. We now come for our second point, We're coming at a right angle. See, it's a right angle, and it was one and a half diagonals. And you'll see again, it's one and a half diagonals. So it's the same distance. So this is most certainly going to be a reflection in the y equals x. We'll just change here. One diagonal, two diagonals. One diagonals, two diagonals. So the correct answer is a reflection in the y equals x line. It's really useful to learn about the y equals x line as it does come up. It's the line where the coordinates of x and y are the same, y equals x. So once again then, to recap, transformations that look like rotations but are not generally are going to be a reflection in the y equals x line as I've shown you in this example.